life. We were, we were talking about the template. It's so like, I could spend hours yeah. just in the template and just being like, oh, you know what? If I route this and I could do, the, and then I'll find a, a program. I just got this, uh, it's called Divisimate. Whoa. That basically is able to take incoming MIDI notes. I can play a chord. Uh, so these are all orchestral instruments mm -hmm. that are legato. Like they can't, you can't play a chord with any of them. Mm -hmm. So Divisimate is able to take incoming MIDI and automatically split up each note. Yep. There we go. Oh, gosh, the sounds <laughs> are so good. Is that a Spitfire? This is, so this is all, uh, this has been a thing that I've been getting into this, just this year is physical modeling. So there's no samples. What? It is all computers doing math. I don't even understand. So you told me that on the phone. I'm like, I don't, even, uh -huh. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. God, it sounds so good. I'm just, I'm really enamored with the physical modeling stuff because you're literally making a like computer sing. sing. Yeah, yeah. Like you're, this is, you know, uh, sand. It's a rock, a yeah. computer yeah. with electricity running through it. And with physical modeling, it is generating the sound. And there's something really romantic about that. I love samples too. Samples are incredible. But I think now we're at the point with computing power where this is how many instances? I don't, I don't even understand. You're, so like when you are doing this physical modeling, like what do you load on the logic track? So this is a company out of Italy called Audio Modeling. And this is their clarinet. With sampling, you have to deal with key switches. So if you want to play something that is and then go to, you have to enable a key switch. Okay. But with modeling, there's no key switches. You can just play the thing. While I do you know, have a workflow set up for key switches, this is just so much more fun. If the sound is convincing enough, especially once it's in a mix. Mm -hmm. I think it sounds really cool. Well, that's all you need. And uh, I'm, I'm real happy with uh, some of the companies that I've found. I know IK Multimedia has the Moto Bass stuff, which is physical modeling for a bass guitar. What I was understanding is like you were running some computer program. Yes. And playing the computer program and it's doing math. But now what I'm thinking is there's products yes. that do the physical modeling and Absolutely. you load them. Okay. Yes. Got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it. it acts. So it's like a VST. It acts like just any other virtual instrument. Yep. Um, I know that there. That's crazy. There are some, there are plugins out there that only make the sound that you tell it to with yeah. physical modeling. Applied Acoustic Systems, I think is one, has a uh, instrument called Chromophone. Rather than saying like, here's a clarinet for you to play, mm -hmm. they say, well, we can model a string, we can model the resonance of a drum head, we can model a mallet, and you know, how, how all these things can interact and you can essentially build you could make this if you wanted to. It would take a very <laughs> long time. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of trial and error. So I'm very grateful for companies like this that... So this one's called SWAM? SWAM, which is an acronym for yeah. something. But uh, yeah, they've got like a full orchestra. For strings, I'm actually using a company that's kind of adjacent, okay. which is kind of a, a best of both worlds sort of thing, mm -hmm. where they are using samples and impulse responses to the timbre and the general sound mm -hmm. of the instrument, but then using a pseudo physical modeling or synthesis to like bridge the gap between like, samples are good at this, physical modeling is good at this, let's take the weak points of both and create an ultra real but ultra flexible VST. So sample modeling's strings I'm really happy with. Heck yeah, can I hear a little bit of it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>